Gillian's birthday today. My sister. Right, good morning folks. Yes, it's, about, it's about half past 11. Come out for a little stroll today, just down the front here. Just walk down today, because it's uh, it's not a bad, bad morning. So I thought I'd just come down here and just uh, help me down this way for a while. This is the uh, the old area of Brotty Fair that used to be the uh, the base for the uh, for all the fisher, the fisher women and the fishermen they used to pile in here. And along there was the old fishing green where they used to scrub all the clothes and hang up all the uh, the washing and do all the washing. And uh, I think some of the fish used to get gutted along this sort of area as well, folks. And yes, we found we found it. There's a football. Hang on. There it is. Yes. And there's the, uh, the lifeboat. Harvard there. Nice little bit. Right, how far will I go, folks? As I'm going to come, folks, uh, it's getting a bit seaweedy and a bit slippy down there. So this is the uh, the old causeway. Well, it might be the new causeway. Actually, it used to be the old causeway, but it's now been uh, done up with this this green mesh. So this would have been the old part where they would come down and get into their boats before setting sail into the the cruel North Sea to try and catch their uh, the fish, the herring, and the mackerel, um, cod place all that sort of stuff i suppose and they'll be out there for hours and hours and hours and come back home soaking wet cold probably with quite a lot of fish i'd imagine because back in those days um they were they were good at fishing weren't they yeah they, they knew what they were doing so they'll come back and then offload all the the haul and then that's it the women will get to work de-skinning the fish hanging them up and uh, smoking them as well although i think our both further along the road there that was more more of a smoky sort of place. But here it is, man. This wonderful harbour. <laughs> Just had a horrible thought, folks. I've got my car keys in my pocket. And these pockets in this uh, in this pair of tracky bottoms are hopeless. They're really shallow, man. So this is where I always lose my wallet. So I've, uh, I've beaten a a hasty retreat from there just in case they fell out. Imagine that man, that would just be an absolute disaster. So sometimes uh, Brotty Fair looks really nice but uh, on days like this today I'm afraid it's not looking at its best. It's pretty gungy looking, the waters are a bit sort of, you know, that sort of polluted way on the edge and uh, yeah it's not looking its best man. It's like the times have got to it. It's a massive piece of wood that's been on our big side of the bolt. Look at the side of the bolt there. Crikey. There's a lot of nice skimming stones here, yeah, nice flat ones. Look, loads of them. But uh, we're just too far from the water's edge to, to throw them. Probably don't have the energy anyway. Honestly, it's pathetic. Just uh, without been doing any exercise over the last few weeks. It is, it's, it's, uh, it affects you, doesn't it? Yep. Gotta keep going, man. Gotta keep, uh, have to get back into a regime of, of getting myself fit again. I've just gotta make sure I get out every day and, and do a walk rather than just slumming it. I mean, I do go out most days, but it's just for a little walk like this, you know. It's not really for the big long hikes that we used to do. And as I said in yesterday's video, you know, I'm all walking about four miles a day. Uh, the bingo, that's uh, that's stopped. These trunks, where do they come from?
There's something making a, a gurgling noise. I thought it was the boat at first, but uh, I've realised it's this sort of... That is a pipe. Got to be careful. It's, it's like a pipe just there with this, with this opening. The water's going in. It's like one of those glugging jugs. This is famous the Mona. This is uh, Fort Street. We've got two of the most famous pubs here. We have the uh, the Fisherman's and also the uh, the Fort pub itself. So here we go, the Fisherman's near this spot in 1746. So that's Battle of Culloden, yes. Right, so there we go folks, the Brotty Ferry Jacobites. Excellent. Now I made a massive blunder on the uh the Spiz page uh when I uh, on the sixth day the uh the anniversary of Culloden. I put down that it was an English army that beat the Scottish army, and in fact of course it was a British army that beat the Scots. Um so big big blunder. Oh. Thing. It's good to see. Walled garden. Mm, not today. But it is, folks, the Eagle Pub. In my darts heyday, folks, I used to play for, first of all, I played for Jollies along the road there, but then we all abandoned Jollies because the owner, and we uh, we came here to the, the Eagle Inn and we played darts here for. A good couple of years, man. It's really it was great fun, man. I used to love my darts. Um, so, see if we know, see if we know anybody on the, the, the boards here. Sure. Right, folks, that's got to be the, uh, the most boring walk I think I've ever done. <laughs> so, uh, so, just to get out for an hour, get my exercise there so that's that done and now once again it's time just to go home and chill folks